Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Coda Queen Astrology. Today we're going to be building a uh, wealth vase. Uh, this is a Feng Shui practice. Um, you create this vase essentially um, to attract abundance and prosperity to your life. Um, the best day to create this vase would be um, when the crescent moon has appeared right after a new moon. Um, some Feng Shui consultants uh, state to do it on the day of the new moon. Uh, however, I do mix in my practices with Western astrology. And the new moon is a dark moon. Thus, it's in its dark stage. And I don't personally recommend uh, starting the wealth vase on a new moon when it's still not shining bright um, after it's meeting the sun. So... My recommendation would be before it becomes a quarter moon, um, a nice crescent, beautiful moon that's growing bright. That would be the day. So today is actually three days after the new moon occurred. So I am going to be constructing this new moon. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, this vase um, a little after the new moon when the crescent moon has appeared. I used my personal astrology chart to match the moon's energy and the moon is um, being born in my 10th house so I am going to be creating this wealth vase with the moon with 10th um, tenth house intentions okay so first you need a vase something like this um, this is a you know piece of Chinese pottery pottery that I liked there's different designs, but I like this flower pattern that it had, so I decided to get this. Um, it needs a lid, as you're going to seal your intentions after you insert all your items inside the vase. So it needs to have a lid. If it doesn't have a lid, then you can use a plate, something that's going to cover this vase. Um, however, if you go to, if you're in the U.S., there's a lot of... Um, uh, stores that have this you don't necessarily have to go to a uh, feng shui uh, emporium or anything like that you can go to um, like uh, little you know mom and pop places or even walmart target you can find this online amazon so you'll be able to find a vase i got this very inexpensively and it's beautiful so I'm very happy with it. Now, these are the items that you are going to add inside of your vase. Um, you can add any items that you feel resonate with you. So, um, the first, you start the vase with a foundation. You need to add soil to the vase from a rich person. This has to be gifted to you. If it's not gifted, it's bad karma. <laughs> I don't recommend you stealing soil from a rich person going to their home and you know stealing it so it has to be given to you now if um, that's not a possibility the alternative is to get uh, a dollar or some kind of money from a rich person so what I did is I know a wealthy person and I asked her to trade me a two dollar bill uh, for two single dollars and she was more than willing to so I traded her a lucky two dollar bill that i collect and she gave me two of her dollars so i'm inserting this in this envelope the money that she gave me in this envelope that's gonna go in there <clears throat> so since we don't have a, a vase that has uh, dirt in it then we're gonna start with this money and we insert it there so we make sure it goes in the bottom now it doesn't have to be flush because after that we're gonna add five grains so in here I have rice mung beans uh, quinoa uh, lentils and barley you could go by you could use any type of grain it does not have to be these grains but um, that's what I chose to use so then you insert them there i do this slowly. I don't want everything to spill everywhere. And I'm going to have a huge, huge mess. So. 
And as you can see, it weighted down the envelope. So it's okay. You can stick your hand in, in there and kind of move it around so it could be full. Because the point of this face is you want it to be completely full. Um, getting rid of the negative space, right? The, so everything has to be full to become a solid. Now, <clears throat> after that, you're going to add any type of auspicious items that you have. So um, this would be right here. These are gold ingots. They're not real gold. They're obviously just painted gold. I got these on Amazon. So you're going to add your ingots there. Kind of, you're going to add nine. Nine is the number of completion. So you're going to add nine of them. So I just added one, two, three, four. Randomly, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there we go. Once that's in there, see they're around the grains. We're going to add some precious stones. Now, I have my stones in this wealth bowl that I created. I was just adding all my stones there. So um, I'm going to Sorry about that. Pick some of the stones that I feel should go in here. Whatever makes, whatever you feel is good for you, go ahead and do. So this is Malachite. I'll put that in there. Tiger's Eye. Hematite. Rose, rose Quartz. So go ahead and just put whatever stones you Feel should go in their citrine. Let me just put a few more as I have several of these stones, so why not? Let's just stick them in there. Oh, look at this beauty. The ventrine. Okay, and let's finish with clear quartz so a few stones there let's move them around great so now oh and I forgot these ones that I had already pre-selected how could I forget that my amethyst okay so after you loaded up your vase with your stones now uh, you're gonna add nine coins so I have them here in one of these handy dandy baggies that I have. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then you scatter them everywhere. Again, nine, the number of completion. Let's move that to the side. I'll fix that later. Now, I also have smaller coins that I got, so I like to add those in as well. So there's three there, six, and three more. Okay, so there we go. I added them, them to my grains. Set this aside. Okay. Now I have currency from nine places around the world. So you wanna add that, this attracts money from coming to you from around the world, especially if you have your own business, you want to, um, and it's online, you want to attract customers around the world, then add um, different currencies from around the world. I have this collector's silver coin dollar. From the Cayman Islands, Mexican peso, and I believe this is from Australia. So there's, I counted them out. I even have a Bulgarian lev um, from Israel. I have a, um, this is from the Solomon Islands, and this is where I think a pence. There you go. 
and this is the Lev from Bulgaria, I believe. And then Swedish. Oh no, this is a Euro. There we go. So I'm going to add all of these in this yellow baggie and seal them. So <clears throat> actually before I seal them, I forgot one thing. So we also want to add little clear marbles. And this is the symbol of completion in Feng Shui. So you want to add nine again, how we did. So I have them counted out already. We're going to add them onto the currency because uh, this is also going to encourage um, uh, foreign travel or even attracting foreign customers. So any foreign opportunity. If you don't have a business, it would be, uh, you know, traveling abroad. So then after that, we seal this up. And then I place in the bowl. From there, you can put any other type of auspicious items. You do want to have a wish list and pictures of items that you wish to acquire or, or to attain. I have mine in here. I got this on Amazon as well. Um, I am not going to show you the pictures that I have. You shouldn't show your... Uh, wishes and um, manifestation um, wishes, I mean, to anyone. So that should be personal. That gives the power to manifest, makes it stronger. So you want to keep that to yourself. Um, so I have that there. I'm going to insert this. I should do it now. So I'll go ahead and insert it now. Let's spend this. some things around so it could fit nicely okay so after that you want to add nine of these lucky coins tied with red ribbon I bought these on Amazon again as well um, but you can also make them you could just buy the coins and then Tie them up yourself. I already have them counted out, so I'm going to add them in there. I'm going to add my other auspicious items. This is a, a silver mercury dime that was made into a pin. I got this at a coin shop. So thought of it, it was very cute. I'm going to put that in there. Now, my Feng Shui God, my money God that I'm adding is the frog. You can choose to add any item in your vase. Make sure once your vase is sealed that you're placing the God. So if you insert it, insert him in there, you need to remember the direction you place them. And I would do it by like kind of memorizing the pattern that's out here or marking it because that's the way you want to face your bowl. So if you're going to forget, grab a marker, mark it, a star, a dot, something so you know that your God is facing that direction and this is the direction that you want to always face your bowl. So my God's in there already. I'm going to, this is... um. It's, it's called um, Herkima Diamond, so I'm adding that in there. I have some jewelry that I'm adding. Uh, pyrite bracelet and hematite bracelet, rose quartz, so I'm adding that in there as well. Oh, and one more thing. You do need to activate your god, so make sure that if <clears throat> it's the frog that... He has some kind of red 
to activate him in addition to a coin in his mouth with the writing facing up. Okay, so you want to make sure that that's how your God, um, um, when you place them, that he's activated. Another way to activate them is to add red on the bottom, like a red piece of paper or um, paint. You can do that, but mine has the coin, and I feel comfortable with how he looks. He has red activation, activated eyes. Some of them have like a little gem, so... Make sure that he's activated. Okay. Once. Okay, so then there's more stones. I have more stones in here. I just placed them in a little pouch. So, adding that in there. I have one of my favorite bracelets that I like to wear. It has an elephant. And I'm going to stick it in there as this year we do need a lot of protection. So, I want to be protected. And I'll stick that in there. And these are the little red envelopes that I gave to my family and friends and dear ones. So um, I'm adding one of these <clears throat> in there. The year of the rat. I gave them a hundred hundred dollar gold year of the rat like printed fake money so I really liked it I thought it was cool so I'm going to place that in there great so now that I filled out up my entire bowl and you can add other items in here like I mentioned uh, you can add um, more precious coins, uh, jewelry, um, more pictures all around, like of places you would like to travel, visit, um, maybe like a universe check that you're cashing. You want to place that there. Um, you could add another god. Um, so now. This is how my bowl is looking. It's almost full. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adding more stones. So it could be completely full. Now, once it's full, we're going to place the lid on top. Oh, it's kind of heavy. There we go. And, oh, I forgot. I'm adding that in there as well. In this order, we're going to place the materials. These materials stand for the elements. So we're going to place that as so. Then the green, oops, will go in order as that stand signifies water. Okay. The green... The red, yellow, and white. And once it's all <clears throat> created, I'm going to need to order a fat. I don't have two hands, so I can't. <laughs> I'm holding my phone with one hand. So um, I'm going to do this later and I'll post the picture, follow up picture of it completed. Uh, so you can see because after we have. The materials. So let's just do the white one. Pretend that all these are on top of there. So after that, after we have all the materials there, we're going to tie it up. So we end up tying this with this um, snugly. So to seal it. Once we seal it, again, these ha they, the string has the f same five colors, all the elements, right? And then once um, we do that, we seal it tight. And then the excess, we're going to braid. So we're going to tie it. Let's see, it's easier to do it from here. Tie it. 
knot it and then we're gonna braid this so then I'll have a nice long braid but that's to completely seal this vase okay and there you go uh, I remember my auspicious God I placed them and he was there we go there so I know I remember but if you are not so good at remembering and over time I'll forget so I am gonna mark this spot with a pin so like that I know where he's at um, yay so you have created the wealth bowl I'm, I'm sorry the wealth a vase and this is all now I'm ready to seal it and put it away and clean up all this mess I created thank you so much